So what I'm doing here as well is I've got the stickers and I'm putting a little bit of the lamination stuff in it. You put on folders um, just to make them a little bit more sort of weatherproof, shiny. So I'm just going to put the, uh, the sticker on the bumper. It's one of the ones that always stands out the most for me, the big blue sticker on the bottom. Right, it's time to start making the thing look nice. I'm going to start putting um, uh, sort of the weathering effect on the welds. I'm going to be using a, a leaf-in pen. I'm also looking at my reference pictures of the Vapeman pack. It's actually, um, the reference pictures I'm using are off a replica of the Vapeman pack. Uh, that was done extremely well. Um, so, someone has taken all these lovely reference pictures, which I'm just replicating, basically. That's cool. So I'm just dragging it along. Here, that's what I'm using. Uh, we have on the pillar of the iron arm is a resistor, so it's 3D printed. A bit of blue pipe, which I've measured as 25 centimeters. I prop it in the end of the 3D printed resistor. And then on the Vapeman pack, there's these little ribbed pipes the beginning and the end of each of these. And I've counted it as 11 ribs, if you want to be that picky, like I'm being. <laughs> there you go, so the resistor is here. I put two of those small Allen keys that I got that I ordered that were too small for the uh, HGA. And um, I've actually used them here and here. Put the resistor on, I'll weather it in a bit. Little blue pipe fits on nicely there, and then I've just found a little piece of metal off a bit of a bike I've inserted in the end, which will fit in here nicely. So let's see how that looks in a moment, eh? Now luckily I've got people watching my build on YouTube and on uh, Facebook and um, I've been informed by um, Steve at Imperial Light and Magic that when I put my audio system in, my amplifier and that, if I want to use the, the little knob on the crank generator for my volume I need to have some cables going up there. So I'm going to quickly cut another channel out from the cyclotron up into the uh, the crank generator box. I need to cut a section out here, a section out here. Um, I was recommended to maybe drill a hole, but then I thought if I ever take it off the motherboard, I'll have things looped through. I need to have it so things can come off and the cabling can stay on the motherboard. Or if worst case scenario, I can actually tape down the cables onto the motherboard. But now, the only thing I've got to think about that's been really annoying me, these here. These here have two little screws in them and then they're covered in paint. They're like little blips, or as I call my Proton Packs nipples. Um, if I don't sort them out, it's going to annoy me forever. For these two bits here, I found these tiny little screws at the bottom of my screw box. I keep all screws from everywhere that I ever find. Um, and then what I've done is, uh, I've just done a test here. I've put the screw inside a bit of plastic. And then I've taken some of this. This is paint for, uh, it's hammered paint for metal. It's a really thick paint I've had sitting in my cupboard forever. Um, it's horrible stuff, but I'm thinking I'm going to drill a little hole, screw these little screws in, and then blip and blip, and we can weather it. 
So we're getting to the nitty gritty now on this thing. Um, now I've been using the Vaitman pack as my reference. Uh, I've been adding lots of little things like um, like the, the two scratches on the power cell and uh, the extra Allen key bolt next to the ribbon uh, cable hole here. And there's one extra thing that I've been umming and erring about and that's here. So where you've got the the booster and the iron arm, there's a piece of welding here. Um, the story to this apparently is that this one uh, proton pack, the hero pack, on set quite early on in filming was knocked over and broken. So it was this piece was bent. So they they welded it and straightened it out. Probably hammered it out and. Thinking nobody's ever going to notice it in this 1984 movie. Years later, there's people like me who are going to now replicate the damage. So, I'm going to use that same stuff. I've got a blob of this left. Um, the welding that I did. So I'm going to mush up this last blob. Make this little shape. That little shape there. And I'm going to force it in there and it'll be white and then uh, I'll spray some paint out the can into a lid and I'm going to paint it up so and that means then all the little telltale signs of the Vaitman pack is on my pack which is quite nice isn't it why not basically now I'm going to put it onto the motherboard See if it if its balance is right, which I'm hoping I've got it right. Um, because I can't do much more now with this until I've got the thrower done and everything else. Doing some little bits here and there, so clippers. Yeah. There we go. Um, this is it so far. Um, I still need to put the electrics in from uh, Imperial Light and Magic, and um, they're getting custom made for me at the moment. Um, and then uh, they'll go into it. Uh, also, um, I'm waiting for the brass clip pad parts so I can put them on before I can put the rest of the pipes in there. So I'm missing a few little bits, um, which the, they're coming from uh, Keymaster Props in the UK. Um, I've got a few more stickers to put onto it, but for now, the Proton Pack's ready for its next stage. Um, so I will be getting some straps on there. I have to stick it on. Next video is gonna be all about the thrower. <laughs> there it is at the moment. I need to um, find an instruction manual. <laughs> so I'm going to build the thrower next and then we'll get the electrics into this and then uh, we'll put it on and catch some ghosts. So come back for the next video um, of my DAC 79 proton pack build from Ghostbusters 1. Hope you're enjoying it. Please leave some comments if you are.